Hey, good morning, everybody. It's uh, Chris and Mark, and uh, we are heading out today to a mine called the Damon Pythias Mine. It's outside of uh, Skytomish off of Highway 2, so uh, we will check in. Is why you have a Land Rover. That's why you have a Land Rover, buddy. Okay, guys. Uh, Mark and I have made it to the uh, the DNP Trail and uh, Trailhead here. <laughs> I'll tell you, this is beautiful up here. I'm gonna flip this around, and this terrain is just absolutely stunning. And uh, it looks like the sun's coming out, so we'll be able to get some video. But this is exactly. Um, let's look at this. I'll finish cruising around here do a 360 but this is exactly uh, seven miles down the uh, Money Creek Road and um, in the last uh, little update I did I was talking about four-wheel drive you definitely need four-wheel drive we need to run into a Subaru up here about halfway up and uh, they were driving a Subaru Forester and I think as long as you have something that has a short wheelbase and a little bit of clearance that one the area that we went through you should be okay but I think a regular car would be uh, very difficult to get go through but uh that's up to you all right so we'll see you up on the mine i don't think it's far at all i think we're going to go off to the left here you see right up there those right up the little gap up there i just think it's right up there dude this is beautiful See something on a hill almost looks like a mountain goat. Could be where at. Come back here. Right between those trees. It's on the side of that Ooh. cliff. It's white. Yeah. See that? Yeah. Could be wrong. It's not moving, but well, hang on. I don't know. I think he's still munching when we come out of here. Well are our mountain goats this low? So we're about 3,000 feet, I think. Yeah, Almost 3,000. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Just like that, we are pretty much here. Um, there's some old, like, uh, steel structures that are, they're not modern. I mean, they've been here a long time, but this place has been worked off and on over the years. So this is, uh, these structures have probably, I don't know, how old do you think this culvert is? What? Well, this uh, Quonset hut, Quanta hut type thing. Probably 50s, maybe 60s. Yeah. And I think they were still working this mine, guys, back well, 50s, 60s. 50s or 60s. So yeah, this stuff is, is from that era. You know, this is the first mine I've been to where I hadn't even broken a sweat yet to... And we're at the entrance already. Hopefully we can get in there. Yeah, we'll so here, find this out. First part to it. You know, Mark, that might be, that might be. Over. Well, no, I mean, that might be back from the early 1900s. Maybe. 
Look how it's bolted together. Yeah. There you huh. go. Yeah, that was a constant hut. And then that's part of the culvert. The mine entrance up there. Yeah, the Damon Pythias. Yeah. We need to start finding mines that are like. Have a normal the, name like, like the, the Johnson mine. The Joe Smith mine. Yeah. The, the Brown Smith mine. Come on. The one that messed me up was the non pariah. Took me forever to figure that one out. And I still think I'm saying it wrong. Well, it's nice to see uh, the local. Uh, Taggers Tweaker bad. taggers are up screwing around with historical stuff, but oh well. What do you do? I'm going to refrain from calling them what I want to call them. Yeah, it's like a little Quonset hut type thing. And guess what? We're not going to be able to get in. They got a big old metal gate across it. Thank you, state of Washington, or whoever you are. Although, possibly, I think we should give it a try. Hey guys, uh, Mark and Chris here. We're actually getting ready to go into the Damon and Matthias mine. We got the headlamps on. And uh, I'm gonna walk over here. And this is what's behind us. Yep, right behind us, right there. Yep. And we are, Mark, ready to go in? Let's go. Let's go. We're heading in. here as he comes in. Here he goes. Keep going, Chris. Okay, you're, you're clear of the sharp spots there, mostly. Okay, keep on coming, dude. Uh, So you guys know this mine goes back approximately 3,000 feet. It's a straight shot back. And we left at 9.30, you said? I had 9.25. 9.25, okay. I don't know why, but this uh, video seems really dark on my camera. Um, stand by. Do a little bit of sloshiness here, not too bad. Probably just an inch or two of water. Go here and see these old ventilation pipes right here. This is the first Y. This is where the ore chute should be at. I think it's off to your right. Good beam. Um, well, let's here to the left first. So let's take a look. Okay, here's the first intersection to the left. Actually, I don't see anything over here. This looks like it's just a little... I think this must be the vein here. Big wide vein. Uh, I can't tell. Maybe there's a little bit of sulfide in there. Yeah, really this tell. is dead ends here on the left. Probably an ore cart or something. Let's see what's over here. Yeah. They just some uh, pretty big stoping up in here. Okay, you're right there. And I just want to look at this uh, vein to see if this is, this is one of them. Is this a Damon vein? Yeah, there's definitely a, well look at this vein. This is a huge vein here. Let me go there. Right here, you can see it. This is the other end of the vein right here? Yeah, there's the end right there, but look up here. Ooh. Oh, nice. Yeah, there we go. So they were digging it out here. Yeah. Okay, wow. Here you go. 
Yeah. And you're right, it ends over there. Yep. Supposedly there was silver and gold in here, Chris. And uh, I don't know if I'm going to get any samples of ore. Uh, maybe I'll try a chunk later or something. Okay. Because uh, it's not, it, it's going to look like a chunk of rock. Yeah. It's not going to look like, you know, anything with sulfides in it. So. No, I get it. You know, people like to look, they like to look pretty shiny. Ooh, shiny. All right. Okay, so guys, uh, I'm going to look back here. There's the entrance way back there. So we are, I'd say we're probably a couple hundred feet in. So, and we just passed the first intersection. So, and um, that's where we're going. So now we're going back this way. Yeah, there's a little bit of exposed vein, but, uh, I think this might be the ore chute here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, there's a lot of stuff here. Get your camera on it. It's actually the only reason I came here was to see this, the ore chute. But it's filming by the receiver. Right, don't, point, don't point your light at me. Well, don't point yours at me. Come on. Well, I'll die. Got it? I'm good. Go ahead and okay. film. Starting at the top. And I'll film it down. What is this called? It's an air receiver. Ooh. I got an old, this old ore cart right here. Now, oh, guys, look at this. This is cool. Wow. Okay. Here's your ore chute. From what I've been told, seeing an ore chute there you go. That's in the Pacific point. Northwest, they say is really rare. Yeah. It comes from up there, the ore comes from up there and down to the ore chute, down to the ore cart. There you go. Boy, this is a nice shape. Yeah. Whole thing. See if I can get Mark in here for scale so you guys see how big this thing is. Okay, hold on. There you go. Going up there, over here, and down. There we go. Nice, steady. And then there's Mark. So, you know how big this thing is. Yeah, it's probably about the top of that rig is probably 14, 15 feet tall. Okay, at least the beer's getting a little better. Yeah. Wow, look at this. All right. Red Hook ESB. It's better than Budweiser. Okay. Although there's the Rainier right there. All right, you have to go. You're gonna have to go past me, or stand off to my side. Yeah, we got it. So I can just get this video. Okay, so this is the Pythias thing. So it was right. It did intersect here. Okay. You can shine your light up here if you want. You don't have to. I think I'm okay. But here's the more the better. Oh yeah, look at all that structure. Wow, look at those timbers up there. There you, go. there you go. All that ore came down there. Down to the ore chute and down into the cars. Boy, look at that's in great shape. It's a really good shape. That's all creosote and timber. And uh, they did a good, they really built it up in here. Okay, you got And then there's stove up here. A little bit of sparkle back here. Okay. Some sparkle up there. A little bit of stove. Yeah. You see those holes? Those are core samples, right? I, was, I used to think they were for dynamite, but they're probably core samples, right? Probably both. Probably both. Yeah. All right, here you go. A little bit of sparkle. Ahead yeah, I guess those were to make sure there were the ore coming up wasn't 
too high, right? Knock it off. Correct? What? I didn't hear it. Well, isn't this thing for to make sure that the oar carts, if they were a certain height, it would knock the oar off? Yeah. Let me see. Yeah, there's some spark over here, too. Now, this might be a good spot, but. Keep going back through here. Yeah. So All right, close. we're dead in here. Dead in? Okay. Yep. Okay. All right. Let's go back to our little intersection back there. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> they drew a they drew a smiley face or something on this side. <laughs> those taggers are at it again. Gotta love those guys. I don't know what is it with kids and they gotta tag stuff. I don't think it was a bunch of 50 year olds or 60 year olds like you and me. Maybe it is. Yeah. Maybe they were taggers back in the day. Yeah, we're back, to, back to the ore chute here. All right. I want to get some, uh, some photographs. Um, you want to do me a favor? And you can see a cutout of where the, the drill went in. That's cool. Hope that's in focus for you guys. All right, so we were at the second cross, and uh, directly across from the uh, ore chute, so we're going to be going down this way. Yeah, you know what? It's, it's looking nice. Oh, okay. Here was a little spot we followed it up. There you go. Just a little mini. Oh. Another little mini stove. Cute. Oh, good old ladder. Too bad it's busted. I think the guy said this goes back about 500 feet. Hey, look! Great Rainier beer can. Yep. Can't go into a mine without seeing one of them. Nope. <laughs> and then there's a Bud Light can down there. Hey, whiz, guys. This just keeps going and going and going. Wise. Well, sort of wise. You're right, it does sound hollow. Um, yeah, there's nothing there. Okay. Yeah, you can kind of look back there. No, I can see just fine. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Head let's, on back. Let's go down to the main hole that's down here. Yeah, that's about 500 feet. That's a heck of a, a, heck of a long tunnel. Yeah. All right, we're back at the shoot at the shoot intersection. Oh, you can still see the outside over there, so we're good. Yeah. Okay, ready? So guys, I don't, I'm not sure how far back this is, but you can see the entrance way, way back there. In front. Like <laughs> and I think we're, I'll look on the numbers, but I think we're probably 1,500 feet back. Yeah, I guess we're back at the... Uh, I don't know if we're 1,500 feet back. Well, I don't know, I'm just going based, I'm going on what they were saying, how long this tunnel is. Oh, yeah, I don't know, we're... Now that guy that read that article, how he likes to keep coming back, he never went past this door. Well, let's see. Why not? I don't know. Okay, now. Let me see what's, what's what here. Okay. Here's a little door. Okay, I'm through the door. Very gently. Very what? Very gently. Okay. Okay. The rails. So you can count the case here. Let's see how far back it is. Okay. Things back here. This is the side of the thing. Because you kind of cross cut one and then you cross cut the second one. So we're at the end of the main hall. 135 right here. Okay, go left or right first? Go right first. Uh, yeah. And go right. Well, they were saying that the very end of this tunnel was 3,000 feet. And you can see the, I mean, I can see the, see it from here, but yeah, I don't know. That's, that's, that's what they're back. saying. So I guess we're 3,000 feet back. No way. Yeah, I know. Another ladder. No, that's rail. Okay, here's a little bit. They were following this vein here, but this is a real horsey. A quartzy, quartzite vein here, Chris. Very little ore in it that I can see. Oh, yeah. 
It's just some of your native rock. Here's your quartz, quartz material here with some native rock mixed in. There's probably some ore in there, but I can't see it. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's hit the other phone. All right. You take uh, the lead again for perspective. Okay, guys, you probably can't see it, but way down there, there's a little light. That is the entrance, just a straight shot back here. Um, not sure how far back here this is. We're actually going to pace it on the way out. We didn't do it on the way in, but thinking it's got to be 1,500, 2,000 feet, but I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll let you know. We'll let you know. There's the end of the tunnel right there. Main haulage tunnel. This is going off to the left. It's a long, it's a long little tunnel here. Yeah. So here you go. What time you got? I've got 1017. So, so take it's almost an hour to. Well, about 45 minutes. Well, you said we came in at 10, uh, 1025. So it's or take 925. 925. So we've been taking us almost an hour to explore every tunnel. Yeah, about. Yeah. All right, let's go back to that, get your sample. All right. And call it a day. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. You can even see the opening back here. Yeah, I know. So I'm going to count right here. So I'm going to add 20. Okay, go ahead and go. I'll count. All right, here we go. I'm not trying to discourage you. I'm just saying it looks, yeah. it's not even moving from what I can see. Not even wobbling at all. It's like the one that we did in the uh, St. Louis mine. Okay, Mark, what do we got? All right, back up here a little bit. What you're looking at is the switch here. And if you look at my ski poles, all right, here you go. You got one of three paths you can take. Nice, huh? Look at how it switches over here. How it continues, right? You can go to the right tunnel or the left tunnel. Or straight ahead, see? Isn't that cute? That's cool. Little curved tracks right there. Yeah. Little curved tracks right here. What do you want? What there do you, you want, man? See? All right. All right, there you go. Let's head right. out. Let's head out. You got my tracks in there. Okay, here we, we do. Go. So we're 200 coming, we're 200 right here. So start counting. Okay? Yeah. 500. Kind of cool. It's 580 pieces from the back of the mine to here. Okay. So to the entrance, so let's call it 600. So about 1,800 feet. Hey guys, we're back at the entrance and Mark is gonna go through this little gate. A pretty view looking at it. In. Okay, here we go. Now your method was to go like, let's see, you put legs through first. I think you put legs through first. Yep, watch yourself on the right. Okay. All right, here we go. Watch yourself on the right. Let's see, here we go. Okay, go ahead. Watch yourself on the right. And I know I'm being anal, but you're really close. It's really sharp. Okay, Lean to your left if you can. Okay. 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 How's my clearance on? Oh, You're fine on the left. Okay, let me get like this. Hold on. Let me get up here like this. Let me get through here like this and get bring my face through. Right. Okay, Chris, your method works best. Yeah. Okay. All right, so Chris is about to egress the mine here. 
a little tricky. You got to be careful. Those cut pieces of steel are sharp as all get out. All right, and here he comes. All right, take it easy, Chris. Here, here he goes. Those little edges are like little mini razor blades. All right, here he comes very carefully. Chris is always very careful. All right, here he comes. And then reach an arm around Chris if you can. Okay, he's doing that. There he goes. Okay, here he comes. Looking good. He's doing the limbo. There he goes. All right, he's got it. He's got it. And he is out. We're in one piece at the moment. Here we go. Hold on, Chris. Here you go. <laughs> okay, uh, okay, guys, we're getting ready to leave the mine, the DMP mine. So, um, hope you enjoyed our trip. We enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun. It's easy getting here. Yeah. Uh, if you don't have a four wheel drive, don't drive up here. But uh, if you do, um, you'll enjoy it. And when you get here, keep in mind that the, uh, the, the mine has got a gate over it. There's a hole in it. We were able to crawl through it. But, uh, um, there's we're going to tell you there's a gate and we don't recommend going in there, but you can do whatever you're going to do. So but it is a cool mine. It's a cool mine. There's no, there's, there's no sign saying no trespass or anything like that. So, um, we're good to go. So All right. until next time, guys, tuck my, uh, Mark's going to do the peace out. I'm going to do the peace out. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs> okay. Mark says this is a you know, mountain columbine. Yep. Oh, natural columbine. Nice. Those are really pretty. See guys, so when we're out here uh, trekking along, doing our thing, we're enjoying nature. It's too bad you can't get over there. That's tiger lily over there, that orange one. You can mm. see it way okay. over there. Yeah, I see that over there. I don't want to go that far. Yeah. Yep, great scenery up here, guys. Great, great scenery. That's going over towards the apex, so. All right, guys, Mark already went down. This is the trail to the Apex Mine. Um, I'm gonna run down there and check it out. I guess there's some cool equipment that's pretty close. And we're gonna call it a day. This looks like the site of an old building. <sighs> okay, this is it. All kinds of old junk in here. That's pretty cool. Those old relics. Cool stuff. Cool, cool. Say goodbye to this place. Yeah, this is beautiful territory, guys. This is really rugged. So, back here, and I believe right here is the trail going up to the mine. Can't tell for sure, but I believe it is. So, and it sounds like it's pretty killer to get up there. But we'll save that for another trip. So we're done for this day. And uh, yeah, just gonna head back up the trail. Cast iron wheel there. Some old rail. It says it's an old Westing house. Alright, we're gonna head on back. gone nine minutes and 44 seconds so it is about five minutes down here so this is an obviously an old uh, this is an old structure of some kind um, some kind of old mining structure not quite sure but it's close to the uh, the tramway and the uh, generator for the um, apex mine Probably just an old building. See lots of cable going through there.
Do you throw something back there? Do you throw something back there? Well, I heard something behind me. Hey guys, uh, Chris and Mark here. We're back at the Land Rover. And uh, we're gonna call it a day and head home, but uh, that mine was a lot of fun. We actually went out and visited the uh, Apex mine too. Well, not the mine, but some of the, the relics under, down the bottom of the hill, which can be fun to try to get there someday. But uh, we're gonna call it a day, and we will check with you guys next week. So, Mark. All right, bye-bye. And peace out, right? Peace out. All right, peace out, guys. See you next week. Bye.